Annihilator, and um, um, a friend asked me to um, record um, how you install Homebrew Browser on Homebrew Channel, so this is the video for it. By the way, this video right here, right here, sorry, really, really good. You guys should watch it too. So anyway, to download Homebrew Browser, you're going to have to go to google.com and then type in WeBrew. Sorry about that. Sometimes my computer just likes to mess around. So. Alright, so you're gonna you're gonna get this page right here. Welcome to it. Okay, so search up here, homebrew browser. Apparently, I am too fast for my computer. <laughs> By the way, I'm sorry if my voice sounds a little bit weird. I am recording this really late at night, so I am a little bit tired. Long day today. Oh, you're kidding. And high memory usage. Man, this is going great. Okay, so you're gonna search up Homebrew Browser, you're gonna get this thing right here. Now, you're gonna... Froze again? Okay, no, never mind. So you're gonna wanna download... Download. Okay, there we go. So, Homebrew Browser is right here. Still starting. It's really short should not take that long. I don't know why it's taking that long. So basically this is it basically I will just say it's an easier way to download homebrew applications onto onto homebrew. I hadn't downloaded it twice. Stop cancel. There we go. Alright, so open this. Now you could either use this application right here which is called Express Zip or you could use, you know, Wi WinZip or whatever, or whatever, it, anything works. Alright, so just a second, I'm going to get my SD card, because you actually do need to get an SD card for this. Be right back. Alright, so I brought my SD card back. This isn't my hacking SD card, I just took any random SD card that I have. So anyway, you're going to want to extract all browse. It's just that, you know, um, I don't want to go all the way back to my Wii and get my SD card out, so I'm going to make a new folder. By the way, if you're downloading homebrew applications, you have to put every homebrew application you get in a folder called apps. If you don't do that, it's not going to work. You have to do that. You, you have to, okay? So... I do not know why it's not responding. Oh, this is great now, isn't it? Stupid thing screwed me up. God, why? I really don't care. Okay, extract all. Browse. Computer. No, no. Yeah. That. New folder. I'm just showing this off. I'm not going to save it here because I already have a... So extract here, extract. Okay, there we go. So after this, everything else is relatively simple. You're going to want to go to... Why did it open twice? So... You should... Yes, these are my Super Mario 64 parts. Um, it should, you should, um, have this right here. I don't think this folder is any use. I, I'm not sure, but I wouldn't delete it, but... Basically, this is how it's supposed to look like, and then after this, you put your SD card in your Wii, and then, um... After you put your SD card in your Wii, just, um, open up Homebrew, and this should appear. Um... Actually, I think you should only keep this this folder right here, which is homebrew browser. Take everything else out. Like, don't delete it, but just move it somewhere else. Actually, you know, I already have homebrew browser. I really don't care. So, it should only have this folder because this folder has the boot.doll file, which is basically what it's used to run. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's relatively simple. It does not take much time at all. This is how it should look like. Delete the first two files. And that's how it should go. So, yeah. So yeah, thanks all for watching and I hope this I hope you guys learn how to do it because it's really not that hard. Alright, bye guys.